What's up guys? Today we'll be showing you gameplay of a free to play player or an almost free to play player like me beating a maxed out player. You can see my cards are level 11, 12, 11, 12 and I only have snowball level 13 and look who we beat, Mr. Level 13 everything, Rivama. You can see the opponent after I beat the guy who had more than 5 cards level 13. Well, he had 5 cards level 13. But yes, we're going to show you gameplay versus Rivama. This is the intense game versus Rima Rivama from Sanaxi Moody. Let's just speed up to 2. He put a Valkyrie in Goblin Gang. I missed the snowball completely because I had lag in the beginning of the game. I tried to take out Snipe the Wizard, but he put the Skeleton Army and get to the advantage. I put the P.E.K.K.A too early, so now we're like all doing mistakes, including me. Except he took almost all my tower, and I didn't take anything yet. Okay, now we gave him somewhat of a comeback. We start sniping out his Valkyrie with Baby Dragon. He uses bats and skeleton army to get rid of the bandit and dragon. Then he puts a hog and gets in some more damage. Now we're just playing. We get ready to take his tower. He puts Elite Barbarians on Dark Prince. You know, Dark Prince can easily snipe out Elite Barbarians. He tries taking out my second tower. I defend with a Pekko. That skeleton army level 13 completely devours my Pekka, even though we had a baby dragon on them. And this is the intense part. He puts light barbarians. We're trying to defend here. We're in a bad spot. And again, he gets in some more damage. And we put Baby Dragon. And here's where we get our first advantage. So we have a Baby Dragon, Pekka, Bandit, the Dark Prince. And our, but our Baby Dragon connects to the tower and does 1000 damage. So we, we get into the lead. Till he puts a Hog Rider and gets the lead again. He tries to go for my king tower. I just put a dark prince. I know I can't overcommit there. And I skeleton army everything. The right. Then I put a baby dragon on his hog rider. He's now getting he's splitting his damage. I don't know why he's splitting his damage. He was doing fine before. And again he goes in for the I I I think of committing to the tower and I let the hog rider hit my king tower so much. You can see now my king tower has 1300 HP and his tower has 800. And again he goes for it, this time I take it seriously, I even fireball it. And now there's 6 seconds like his Eli Barbarians are gonna hit, I put the Eli to Electro Wizard, but we escape. With 100 HP left on our tower. Good game versus Rivama. That's how I beat maxed out player. So thank you guys for watching, remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time. For those of you who want to see me pushing up ladder, you can right now. We will be pushing up ladder. See my cards, the only max level I have is a snowball. I have a few level 12s, which is Dark Prince, Bandit, and another spell poison, and the rest are level 11s. We're probably going to fight out max players. Let's see what we get. We're pushing for 5,300 trophies. Okay, he's level 12, at least he ain't level 13. But let's see his cards. I usually put the bandit to test them, to see how fast they react, to see what they put. Maybe to shock them. And he has a bandit, but he put a late bandit, actually. I'm going to snowball everything. And everything lives, of course.
his levels aren't max, so I think I'm gonna get this game. It was a bad start, but I think I'm gonna pressure him soon. So he has Bandit Witch, Lumberjack, Fire Spirit, Witch is dead this season. I don't know why he's using the Witch. Does he have like a Mega Knight? If he doesn't, I wanna put that on. Okay. Inferno Tower is fine. I'm gonna poison everything here. Okay. He keeps winning on the exchange. I think I now have an advantage. He's gonna put f fire spirits, but I don't know if that's enough to take down a ram rider. The level 13, though, that's a huge advantage for him. But we did some damage, we're almost, we're equal on damage. I drop the bandit right next to his dragons like this, my dragon can hit both. Oh, and this is a huge connection. Now we're in the lead. I'm gonna start the Dark Prince in the back. I know he wants to start the Witch. I'm getting ready to put the poison. Oh, he starts at mid lane though. His balloon's scary here. My Dark Prince connects though, but his balloon connects. Uh, but my Pekka connects. So now we, we slightly have an advantage. He's gonna fall. I'm not gonna get to let him take the tower so easily, and I'm gonna start to push on the next lane. And he lets that go. Oh god. I'm gonna pressure his left lane like this. Make him. He has to focus on both, which won't let him take my tower on the right. So good game. It's a good game. A well played. And sing. We beat Arifi.